der Wieso Nummer, ne? Pode. Eles estão esperando aí, não estou vendo aí, não. Agora sim. Ok, pessoal. Hi, everybody. My name is Oliver Rack, and I'm a lecturer of Seishinui. Seishinui is a philosophy founded by in Japan by Master Masaharu Tanegoshi in 1930. And uh, it's been growing every year. Hi, everybody. My name is Oliver Rack. Uh, just uh, and has been growing every year. It does not have a, a religious sectors, you know. Welcome all the religions, and we believe we are a child of God. Today we will study a little bit of this uh, philosophy, showing how we can improve our lives from today on. Yeah. Now we make a. a Small pray, okay? Invocation. All parent God who gives life to the human being, fill my whole being for spirits and blessings. My life is not my own to claim, is the life of God who's permeate the universe. My acts are not my own to claim, they are the acts of God to permits who permits the universe. May the Lord of Sationally, who appears to show us the way of God. The parent of heaven and earth guide us and protect us. The Holy Spirit of God descend upon us and guide us in this meeting according to his will. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Today, uh, first of all, I want to thank you, everybody that is us with us today and is, is going to be with us uh, because this is going to be recorded and uh, and YouTube. I'm going to start talking about the, we live in two worlds. Humans live in two worlds. One is what we have sense. It's what we can see, we can hear, we can touch, we can taste, we can smell. That's our, this is one of the world. This world is full of things we can notice with our senses. It's called the phenomenal world. Because it's where things appear. I mean, that's where we are, the phenomenal world. In this world, there is a lot of suffering. You know, there is sickness, accidents, arguments between families and more. Nations fight each other, which is right now, it's happening, right? And there is poverty, money problems, all kinds of situation everywhere. When you see all these things suffering, it's hard to think of it as a fair or good world. In this world, the strong takes advantage of the weak, right? Bad people succeed and good people suffer because of them. You know, what we're seeing today with this world, the war in, in the several countries, that's exactly what happened. This shows us that we have two worlds inside us. One is the rational, and the other one is the irrational. The irrational ones is what we see and experience every day. Right? Call it, like I said, phenomenal world. We can see the other world. We can see. We can see the phenomenal world only. But alongside that, there is a rational world within us, which is perfect. Just the kingdom within. Inside each person, there is a rational world without misfortune or suffering. It's a place where the strong don't harm the weak, and there is no sickness or poverty. This world is called the kingdom of God, made by God. Jesus talked about it, saying, the kingdom of God is within you. Luke 17.21 the kingdom of God is what's inside us. So people use the kingdom as a guide to see 
how the real world world compares. They find the real world falls short, so they wish they could make it more like the kingdom of God, a place of eternal happiness. Because we are beyond this physical world. We are beyond that. Man is more than just a physical body. The within you, where the kingdom of God is said to be, isn't inside the physical body in our three-dimensional world. Matter, including our bodies, is just like an outer, outer layer in our body. Our true self, the real us, is it trapped in this body shell. Yeah, this is just a body shell. It's not us. You know, just this is a, just a outer layer. Because we are surrounded by God. God is all in all. Everything is a manifestation of God's life, wisdom, and love. Even a single leaf or a small wild flower, the sunlight, the air, the water, everything else, no matter how big or how small, there is no nothing. There is nothing that is not the manifestation of God's life. God is wisdom and God is love. We live surrounded by God's life, embraced in God's love, and guided by God's wisdom. So now I want to talk about forgiveness. In all religions, it said that forgiveness set us free, right? Every religion says, forgive and you are set free. But how it works? People suffer for years holding onto unresolved issues with others because they don't want to forgive or to be forgiven. They know how is big mistake. Maintain this Dependent situation in only give us only bad situations. If, for example, if I had an argument with someone and I end up offending them or offending him, then I leave the place because I say, no, I don't care. I mean, what do you think? I just, I leave and leave without saying sorry. And why the other person was upset with me. In this case, what happened is I end up owning him and we got tied up together by a mental thread. Not a physical thread, a mental thread. So between our subconscious, which harms both of us. Harms both of us because there is a pendant between us. No matter how far apart we are in this universe, the thread is still there. It can be any place in this world or even in your universe. I mean, the still thread is there. I will only disappear. I mean, this will only disappear. In this case, I ask for forgiveness. Meanwhile, no way. Even if the other person passes away, the thread stays connected, stay connected. It's still causing harm to both of us. The session says we should forgive to become free. Yes. How we become free? Cutting this thread. Yeah. The thread will be cut and we'll be free if we do it. Surely until that happens, I might have a trouble with relationships or finding a good job, family problems, sickness, all kinds of situations because this pendant. You know, so many people, a lot of people, they they do this for the, a lot of people. One there, one there, one there. So you have a four, let's say four threads mentally tied up. You know, I can run. I can jump, but my my brain here, my 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 mind is, is stuck. It I cannot grow. 
That's why some people, uh, this kind of people normally, they don't grow in their lives. And they always have problems because they have tied up with so many people. Yeah, that's why when you have some problem, we should ask them for forgiveness or forgive them. And then you cut the thread right away. Because if we don't want, if we don't know where is the person, because, you know, for so many years, you don't know where these people went, you should do something like this. For example, you sit, before you sit in a, in a couch, you put some chairs in front of you, right? And then, and then you're going to have a, a way to apologize properly. So you don't know where these people are if they pass away. You don't know nothing about that, but no problem. You put the chairs in front of you, and then you're going to properly properly apologize. I'm sorry. You're right. I was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really, I'm sorry. And then this helps to cut the thread. Because our subconscious communicate with his subconscious. And, uh, and that's what happened. Our subconscious contact with, with, to each other all the time. Communicate to each other. And he will receive the forgiveness. Let's say he's in Tokyo. And you are here in the United States. He's gonna when you do such a thing, you say, Wow, well, I just remember Oliver. How is he doing? I wonder. He make a smile. He doesn't know why he, he remember you. He doesn't know why he's he did a smile, but his subconscious know, knows because our subconscious record everything. That's why you have to understand that and be careful what we put inside our subconscious. Offend all the people all the time. You, you're putting in your... It's like, a, a, you know, everything you give to someone, you're going to receive. So give love. Give uh, forgiveness. Things like that. I have a case, a story to share with you. At seminar in Sao Paulo, Brazil, I watched a guy tell a real story. He said that when he was a child in the school, he always bothered a girl, saying she was ugly, she didn't deserve to be in that school, every day doing the same. And the girl every day going back home very sad. After growing up, he was living in a big city, right? And it's not no more in a small city. He got to know, essentially. He was telling this. There, they explaining, he explained the how forgiveness worked. And he started thinking about people, because we suggest, we suggest, I say, remember in the past, you have anybody that you, didn't say sorry, didn't apologize. Remember, because this is creating problem for you. So eventually, remember this girl. At that time, he was having a lot of problems. Without a stable job, without a serious relationship. In short, life was tough. Life was tough. When he remember her, he thought, about going back, back city, in their city, home city, and uh, to look to her because he knew he had done wrong. He maybe it was affecting him and her. So he went there, took a bus, went there. When he arrived, he went straight to the house where she used to live with her parents. He knocked the door. 
and she opened it. You can imagine, 20 years later, never saw her again, 20 years. Now he was there. She immediately recognized him. And then he was a little bit like this. I mean, he says, can I come in? And right away, he started apologizing for it, that what he had done in the past. And asking for forgiveness. Her eyes was filled with tears. And she said that he had affected her whole life. She was alone. Her parents passed away. And life was tough. Like his life, right? His life was tough too. Well, both end up crying together. And she forgave him, finally. They become friends and agree to com always communicate to each other. So, so you can see it's not difficult to set you free. Just forget the ego. Because the ego doesn't allow you to do the right thing. You have to cut the ego. Like he did, finally. The ego makes us fail to do the right thing. Well, six months passed. And uh, he returned to the city now with his new car. Very happy and saying that he was going to get married. And that he had gotten a very good job. She showing a complete different atmosphere. Also shared that she was in a relationship with someone and was very happy. As we can see, the lack of forgiveness was ruining both two lives, both of their lives. We have to have this true in mind. We have to take action. It's not so difficult, right? You have to just give up of your ego. And your life is going to be much better, right? Okay, now that you understood about forgiveness, which is very important. That's why I put in this lecture, forgiveness. Um, we have to build our divine world. Here is the secret to taking over the whole world. Give up being selfish and dedicate yourself to the well-being of others. Showing your true self. That's why we came for. To help other people. Because when you help other people, we are helping ourselves. Like I said, if you do something good for someone, you're going to receive 10 times. If somebody had happy, you're going to have 10 times more. Yeah. This means living as a divine being, full of deep love and honesty. Decide to be a great person, not a small one. You know, if you choose this, everything will go smoothly in your life, and people will trust you. So decide to be a great person. Stop being selfish and get along with everyone to become a great person. Able to achieve great things in God's work. So be right. I mean, be honest. Do the right thing. Help other people. And you're going to be a great person. How to grow? Growing is a slow process. Even for trees and flowers, right? takes a while to grow. For you as a child of God to grow in the visible world, this visible world, you need to fill the physical space which requires time. 
Sometimes it may seem that your attempt to reach a, a goal has failed, but you you should not be discouraged or doubt your, your status of child of God. You know, the fail means you learn something that you don't don't have to do that way, right? So you, then you know that a second time you got to do better. You don't give up, right? In winter, the leaves fall, you know, all the trees appear ugly or dead. But in the fall and spring, we'll, do, we'll sprout even more and grow. So never be discouraged. Never give up of yourself. Go on. Believe you are a child of God and you can do anything. Like we say in a session, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. Always. No matter what. Because you have to decide to be a great man or a small man. Human desires change over time. As a child, one desires a tricycle, then a bicycle, then a car, and so on, right? Moreover, becoming used to having all desires satisfying, person underestimate life. And when faced with the first closed door, they do not know how to tolerate and rebel. So they do not know how to accept the situation as is. Is it is for example, the parents uh, don't say no to their kids. Never. Everything they want, they get it. So you're creating a problem for the future for your children. Because you they never listen no. In this case that we just mentioned that uh, he doesn't know what to do and get rebel because he never received any no in life. And we have a uh, huge problems in his life. You know, the individual who does not think about the family's problems and tries only to impose their will becomes a small man. That's the case. I mean, he imposed only, he says only what I want. This kind of people is small person. Small person. You know, at any university is pointless or a PhD because true wisdom is not acquired through intellect, but through daily conduct. You have to see what's your daily conduct. If it's doing right or wrong. Right? Uh, so, I mean, you don't, you don't do, you're not the, the best person knowing so many things, right? And, and aiming to mature the personality, developing the capacity to love is the best way. Your goal is to become a great man, and not a small man. So, to become a great man, you have to think about other people, not only yourself, right? So the, the that child that uh, not to receive, never received that no, will not be, behave like that. They want everything for him. So. And, and 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 actually, you have to think about other people first, right? Other people first, help other people. And, and what that means to tolerate? It's not giving up on their ideal, not settling for less. In simple terms, I mean giving up the self, the selfness caused by the false self. Controlled by wants and feelings. The true self is the core of a child of God. 
the true self, filling the heart with thankfulness and love for others, love for others, and respecting oneself, knowing one's purpose. Now, what's the purpose we are here? To help other people. We are all born with a mission. And each person is entrusted with the specific tasks that only they are capable to ex executing. So we have a, a mission. And sometimes we don't know what's our mission. And, uh, but for sure, will show you that you have to do something that only you can do it. Huh? Therefore, we have our own individuality and abilities that are unique to us. It's important to recognize these qualifications. For example, uh, sometimes you have to Take care of a person. Someone in the family is, is, uh, have some sickness that need a full attending. And you have to stay there forever because it's something that there's no cure. You, you, and you say to us, to yourself, am I king here in this world to be here close in this house? taking care of this person. That's what I came for? Maybe yes. That's all your mission. And you have to accept it. The great man is fully aware of the existence of this qualification within himself. And therefore, not concerned by the fact of being different from others. He doesn't care if he's different than others. The great man. He's not shaking by not having brand name clothes like others, not having a beautiful motorcycle like others. He doesn't care, you know. This small man does not take pride of his qualifications and therefore lives with by imitating others. So there's a guy that uh, doesn't want to understand that he also has qualifications to do something, but only see the other and try to imitate. You know, uh, it's incredible how he covets everything that others have. Thus, he ends up losing his individuality. individuality. You see, he loses because he's think about the other person and try to imitate. Right? And also, we have to understand that actually there is no failure. There's no failure. Because when you fail once, like I said, before, and you know that that's the way, that's the wrong way to do. So I do it again, and I fail again, and I do it again. So all the people from chemistry, work with chemistry, they know that because they make a mistake 10 times or 10,000 times until they find the right thing to do. So they never give up. Huh? Let's suppose you board in the wrong train. Then change trains and you will be getting closer to your destination. Taking the initiative of acting means getting closer to your goal. It is the best way to progress and evolve. It's always better to act than do nothing. You know, a lot of people prefer to do nothing, right? They don't want to act. Because you want to change your life. 
like you guys now you're watching this video is because you believe that you can be better person in this world and you can learn something else to be a better person so otherwise you wouldn't be here right but some people don't care about that never gonna watch this kind of movie because a, a, a video because they don't think that is important to learn something else yeah so that's why I say it's better act than do nothing if you fail to act the result will never be worse than that of someone who remains motionless all the time so don't do nothing people who do things always learn more that's why now because you were trying to do something you're always learning more and more and more and more and then you do you do better afterwards even it doesn't work out because they learn what not to do that's what i said when you try to do something and you fail it's not a problem it's not the reason to give up it's a reason to go on and try again and try again like i said in session we say we can do it we can do it only things comes to our way only good things comes to my way that's the thing you have to remember and say that all the time only good things come to my way you know what makes you happiest the happiest person in the world the purpose of a special mission everyone gets when they are born in different for each person is different for each person but it has a one thing in common to be helpful to humanity so that's what have in common for everybody here in this world we be helpful helpful to the humanity so if everybody tries to do something to other people and all this adding 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 people doing the good things the world would be much better right because it means working for the good or other of others society and your country for example your country right do something for your country and not taking advantage of others and that's a very important thing to satisfy your own wants try and do this and you are sure to see amazing results so you have to satisfy other ones other people wants because when you do that you're gonna gain a lot more your life like i said before is gonna be much smooth and everything comes easier way in a easier way you reach more much more your objectives you reach you you're gonna fulfill your desires the real desires but only trying to help other people it don't worry about yours it just work hard just work hard but don't worry I if I gonna get or not get don't worry about that help other people and your desires will be fulfilled you know people wrong will really like you right because for example you will feel love for your teacher knowing he gives you important knowledge who would, who would think badly of someone who cares about others? Nobody going to think badly to, about you, right? Someone ask, can you take over the world? You say, yes, I can. I answer, but ask how? 
And God will say, changing the way you think. If you change, the whole world changes too. See, that's something that people must understand. We don't change anybody. We change ourselves. So, if you have a, like for example, husband and wife, husband and wife, they all they have the same argument because one wants to change the other one, and vice versa. Whenever one of them understand they will not change the other one, he stop doing this. You only see the the good things about the other one. My goodness, how you are good in this or that, how how you are intelligent, things like that. So only say about good things about the other one. See, automatically, the other one will change as well. So the other one changes by himself, not you. That changed him. So we never gonna change anybody. You must understand that we only change ourselves. It's like, for example, another example is uh, kids. The kids goes bad in school and bring the the results of the. Oh, whatever they have history, mathematics, geography, you know, all the all these things. And then the your kid has only one, let's say geography, a good A. All the rest C and D. What are you gonna say to your son or daughter? My goodness. You got a in geography? My good, I never could do that. He don't talk about the other things. So if you go there and complain about everything, he will not change. But when you say, my goodness, you are very good in geography. He don't talk about other things. See, he by himself will think, my goodness, my father said, I'm good in geography, but I can be better in others too. So he, by himself, he starts studying more. And next time, you're going to have a more A's, more B's. So you don't change your kid. He changed by himself. That's why the way you treat the other person. The, let's talk about the law of karma. In this world, there is a law of cause and effect. Known as the law of the mind. Or the law of karma. It says that good actions cause good effects. Like we said. If you do things right to someone, you're going to get good things to yourself. And bad actions, of course, lead to bad outcomes. This means no one can get ahead by being lazy, for example. You might trick others for a while, but eventually you face the consequences. Would anyone knowing they will suffer later choose to gain dishonestly? This, this, this no. Because if they know they're going to have consequences, they will not do it. So that's the, the law of cause and effect. And so all the time we have to think about it. If I do right, the wrong thing to someone, for example, I have a work to do and I, I try to go something different and, uh, and make something that is not correct. 
even if the other know know that you're gonna be in trouble because you know when we do something wrong in a in a in a in a bedroom alone nobody knows but you know your mind know so what's gonna happen that you is gonna be the one who's uh, gonna create problems for yourself, right? Uh, so if I if I be then not dishonest, nobody knows for sure. In in the future, I gonna have, you know, I gonna receive that back. So always be honest to other people and to yourself. This is how the, you know, how the law of karma works. Karma is the collection of person's actions. You know, everything we accumulate, everything we do in life, accumulate in our subconscious. It's like HD in the computer. Everything accumulated. There. So good actions accumulate over the years. One day lead to excellent, excellent effects. On the other hand, bad actions accumulate result in terrible effects. One day, right? People have learned that this through their own experience over hundreds or thousands of years. So never try to deceive your peers. Every action accumulates day by day. So we are the result of everything we accumulate in our mind, our subconscious. And uh, if your life is not good right now, you've been accumulating bad things, or you did in the past, it didn't resolve this. So we have to think about it. how to be a better person, to accumulate good things. You know, when I, when I 25 years ago, when I entered Seychelles, yeah, one of the first things they said was it's lack of gratitude. You have lack of gratitude. Right? For example, somebody does something for you, you don't say thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I, really I was a little bit like that. I mean, not all the time saying thank you. So I start be thankful, a lot more thankful. Today, you know, everywhere, everywhere I go, if somebody does something for me, thank you. Even what happened, bad things or good things is thank you, gratitude to God. Because if I, something bad is, I say, I ask my, myself, what God wants to learn, I mean, to teach me. What I need to learn from God, if it is something bad. Or I had a car accident. Why are I brought this accident to myself? Why? Why I was thinking? What, why I did wrong? You know, so be thankful. May I tell you something? My life changed completely. Faster than I could think about it when I became more thankful, having more gratitude to everything, to everyone. And that's something we have to think about, right? Be grateful. In an easier way to perform 
it's easier to perform small good deeds every day. Thanking someone who holds the door for you, for example. This happens all the time, right? Somebody is leaving out and you go in, they hold the door for you. They say, thank you. Uh, or asking if someone needs anything or help. If they are feeling well, I mean, you see a person not very well, they say, are you feeling well? Do you need anything? Helping someone to solve a problem, etc. anything, are all small good deeds to show you care about others too. An artistic painting is created gradually, accumulating daily strokes after of trying and painting technique. You know, every day, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. The success of geniuses and people consider a great talent is nothing more than the result of a continuous effort. We have to continue being better. We continue doing more good things and then we came to the result, a good result for our lives. So I hope you Learn a little bit about Seishonoye. And uh, I was very happy to come back to, to a, a lecture in English. You know, my English is so-so. I mean, I hope you understood everything. So I would like to thank my friend Nubia, who has a great heart and dedication to others, who was the inspiration for me to start giving lectures in English again. Normally I do in Portuguese or Spanish. May this event of today be repeated some other times. Thank you very much for everybody. And uh, I, I, this lecture will be available in our YouTube channel, Session A Houston. And please subscribe. And if you like it, click your like to allow us to grow. Okay, I don't know. Um, you have any questions, um, Gus? Gus? Otherwise, Take a look at WhatsApp, please. Sorry. Take a look at your WhatsApp. There's a question over there. On WhatsApp. If I forgive somebody, but it's, okay, if I forgive somebody, but that somebody don't forgive me, who has connect anyway? Yeah, you have to do your part, right? Sometimes the other the other person is not ready for that, but you try your best to do your part. Forgive, forgive. If this person. In person, don't uh, don't accept your, you know. And uh, you may do the same thing, do with the chairs and do your part, you know. And then, uh, of course, it would be much better if the other person accepted your apology or vice versa. But uh, we have to do our part. And then uh, maybe this will cut this uh, thread and, uh, and result, it result in your situation because you cannot push anybody to accept something. But you can do your part, okay? Anything else? That's it. That's it. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. And I hope we're going to come back soon. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much.